How big is the auction? Well, I'll tell you. All the way down there is the other end of this one. It's a long ways, mind you. And then all behind this fence here. I mean, that's almost a football field and a half, two football fields. Then all behind this, and it goes all the way, all the way, all the way. It goes up there a long ways. I can't even see the sun's in my eye, big time. But, <laughs> it goes all the way up there. Well, there we go. I'm gonna go, now you can see the lane numbers too. So I'm heading in to go do it to it. Yeah. Well, oneownercarguy.com, they got a nice truck they just bought here. Dump bed commercial. Looks like a 2000 new, 2000 new um, Chevy, Chevy. Well, I'm going inside, so I'm gonna put this up. Got a little 256,000 miles. Wow, on an 06, I like the color though. Well, thanks for watching. We're going into Mannheim. Look at that, 14 lanes of pleasure over here. That's what she said. Mercedes. This is California. We got, oh, look at them ugly headlights. Them things sure go bad quick. Well, thanks for watching. One, oh man, look at that freaking truck down there. I'll just show you in a second. 54,000 on an 04 EXT. Clean inside. The 54,000 part I like. for same as the excursion I bet she's close to the same money I guess this is easier to drive both got a hitch the wheels look funky funkily different on that Benz funkily different yeah funkily different Ooh, there's an ESV. I almost passed it with 154 though. God dang it. Perfect black on black though. That's exactly what a guy, well, this guy wants. Dang it. And these ain't going through this week. Yeah, they are. Hang on a sec. One twenty-nine. They're all going through tomorrow. I do like some of these newer Mustangs. Haven't got one yet. We'll go down and look at this big truck. I've called. I made my call. Got that done. So the rest of the day is just making movies here at the auction. And I got to get to my hotel here pretty soon because I've been running for a couple days. I need a room. Look at this truck, a Nissan or a Ford? I never know on the newer stuff. A Dodge, really? I missed all three. Something, I don't know what the hell it is. It's an RBP. Who knows? Flip down, Toyota. No wonder I didn't know what it was. Ugh. You definitely feel pretty high in it. You feel high. There's a, there's a Ford down here that I wanted to look at. It's got flames. It could be a dually. It is a dually. Two-wheel drive, 46,000. Okay, 
one owner car guy can handle a 46,000 mile dually? Yes, he can. A one? A one. Out of warranty. It's a gasser. What a cool truck. And the flames go all the way back and lick the fenders like they should. Factory wheels look fine on it. You know it's lowered. Cheers. They're all ready, man. Fire department. Kind of fitting. Kind of fitting it has a fire department sticker on it, huh? I just noticed that when I was walking away. He's got the little fire hat in the back. Oh. Had to be a fireman. Well, maybe not, buddy. He wasn't too friendly. Now, this guy has my car. This guy might just have my car. 500? 350. We don't want a 350. Unless it's an F. I don't want this either. I'm just taking pictures. I dig that Ford though. Honestly, in the last little while, I've seen a few cars that I just wouldn't mind having. And this thing just happens to be one of them. Look at this. Look at the suspension under this thing. This thing was done right too. Look at this. Pretty sweet. How many miles does it have? I don't know if you can see this. I'm 5'10", 5'9", 5'10". And it's bed as high as me. Yeah, they've caged in the differentials and this thing's pretty sweet. Like I say, I'm not a fan of these type of trucks, but it's one hell of a truck. Okay, well, I think I've kind of got you some cool video here. Actually, two or three of them. I don't know how long this is at. This could have ran over already. I don't know how my wind noise is either. Hopefully, you can hear me as I walk around. I gotta walk down here and look at this Corvette. Every once in a while, they get one that's a ZR or something. Not this time, right? 106 on 96. 17 minutes. Ooh, Beamer. So, 07. Oh, 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 one. Yeah. So we don't know how many miles. Another Camaro there. SL 99 with 115. And I am looking for one of these. That's all there is to it. Yeah. I don't know why this one don't do it for me. It don't do it for me because I've seen that CLS. Even though it's going to cost three times as much. Um, wow. Okay, can I just say wow? Well, I'm going to put out another video. I can't do too many here. I'll talk to you in a second. One owner car guy. And it's super sport. Oneownercarguy.com. I do a lot of cars. A lot of cars. And I had to turn around for this thing. Because, well, to be quite honest, there was a Mercedes next to it that I was looking at, and it's a supercharged 05. And it is locked up. And I'm gonna look at this Camaro while I'm here. Super Sport, 2010 with 33. I've never sat in one. 
Not bad for comfort, man. I like the gauges down here in the center. Huh. It's got a nice look and feel. There ain't no room in the back seat. I pull that seat all the way up. And you can see there's still ain't no room in that back seat. I'm gonna get a picture or two. Sorry, I have to. And at the same time, I just like that a lot. Well, back at it, man. They got everything. And I would like just even a little F-150 like this. This was our last week. Holy smokes. I think I sold that car to somebody 10 years ago. Wood grain. Here's this. Where are you at? With no info. All right, I don't need that one. Ah, A8L. Yeah, I kind of like that. A lot. Oh, the suspension is messed up on that, man. Well, a limo. I think I got a limo coming up. Ooh, an Escalade, a black one. There we go. And I didn't write down no run numbers. Black and tan. 2011. Too new for me. A limo, however. Right up my alley. That's cool, too. Wow, that is a different suspension on that potato chip van. And this is a pretty nice limo. What do you think of that? It smells freshly detailed. 88,000 on an 89. That is sweet. Corporate Coach Works. Am I going to be an idiot and buy this thing? I sure hope not. I can't stop myself from starting it now, though, and making sure the tranny feels a little decent. And I've got a problem. I need to stay away from the office. I knew this.